Why are there not more horror movies that are stop motion? I just saw a movie called, well, Stop Motion. It just came out last week and I saw it in theaters. In the theater I saw it in, when I bought the tickets, there's nobody else who had bought a ticket. So I was thinking I was gonna go in and watch this movie in an empty theater, which I came in, remember the last time I saw a horror movie in an empty theater. I, I was not prepared for that. But thankfully two other people came in while the trailers were going. But sadly, I do have to say this movie did feel a bit disappointing. As I said at the beginning, I really feel like more horror movies need to be in stop motion because stop motion just has such an uncanny valley to it. It just makes everything creepy, even when it's not necessarily supposed to be creepy. Movies like Nightmare Before Christmas and Coraline and James and the Giant Peach, which I'm just listing off Henry Selleck movies now. They're all stop motion though, and they just all have such an eerie, uncanny vibe to them, even whenever they're in scenes that aren't supposed to be creepy. So when I heard about this movie that's called Stop Motion, and in the trailers they showed some pretty creepy stuff, I just feel kind of disappointed that this movie honestly wasn't that scary or creepy to me. And I don't really like saying that about horror movies very often. I hate people who try to act like horror movies aren't scary and like, oh, I'm, I wasn't scared by that. That didn't scare me. But I honestly only found really one or two scenes, maybe three scenes decently creepy. And even those things weren't like the creepiest things I've seen in recent memory. And this movie really doesn't have that much stop motion in it. It does focus more on the actual human characters in the movie, which I would be fine with honestly, but it's the fact that the human story just wasn't that interesting to me. At times it even felt kind of boring, which is another thing I don't like saying about movies because I like slow paced movies. I like indie movies. I like slow burns. The characters were really wooden. Uh, the acting was fine. And there were some scenes that had to do with the actual humans in the movie where it just felt like they were trying too hard to be creepy instead of just being naturally creepy. But it did lead to the ending decently well. And I did like the meaning of the movie decent enough. But this just didn't have enough interesting writing and aspects to to keep me from feeling bored. Every time they would cut away from the stop motion characters, I kept finding myself wanting them to go back to the stop motion characters. It's like I finally understand the people who complain in Godzilla movies when they keep showing the human characters and want them to go back to Godzilla and the monsters he's fighting. Which most of the time that's not really a complaint that I usually have in Godzilla movies, but in this movie I did have that kind of feeling to where I kept wanting them to go back to the stop motion characters because that's when I was enjoying the movie the most. The character that uh, the main character creates to, to kind of portray her in the, the stop motion movie that she's making looks really creepy. And it, the design is really creepy. I really liked how it looked. But I don't know, they, they didn't really do much for me to feel the creepy level I wanted to feel from that character. There's even one scene that's in the movie that, that was in the trailer. Such a morbid imagination. Bringing dead things to life. That scene was pretty creepy, but man, if they would have had her running towards the main character and running out the screen, then I'd be running out of the theater. But yeah, overall, I think y'all will like this movie if y'all like indie horror, um, if y'all like slow burn movies, and if you like stop motion horror, which I even like all three of those things, but I still felt kind of disappointed. But I, I do feel like there's a chance that y'all could like it more than I did if you like those three things.